Have you ever been laying in bed and you think, hmm, oh, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn on my cell phone here and I'm gonna read some ebooks or watch a video or something, but oh no, my battery is low and and my phone charging cable is all the way over there and it's only three feet long and it won't reach all the way over to my bed. So wh what do you do? You just probably go to sleep. But now I found a way around that and I'm gonna show you. It's not really an invention. It's it's just kind of like a. I hate using the word you know life hack, but it's it, it's a little solution. See what you do is you get you just get one of these long orange extension cords, right? And you you find a centralized outlet in your house. And for me, I got a fifty foot one. Uh, if you have a bigger a bigger place, maybe maybe you could get maybe like 100 feet or something like that. But you plug it into a centralized outlet, and then you take the other end here, the uh, the actual outlet part, and you just, give me a second here, push it through your little belt loop here. Obviously it won't work if you don't have a belt loop, but then you just plug in your phone charger, and you plug your phone right into the charger. And there you go. It started charging. It died on the way down the stairs, by the way. You might have seen the power down screen on there. And then you just you pretty much have this wherever you go. And you could kind of maybe just loosen it, give it a little bit of slack so you don't so you don't get it knotted up on the couch or any other furniture you might have that might be blocking your way. And here we go. The phone is, is it turning itself on? There it was. I think the battery is too low. It's not really giving it a chance to actually illuminate the screen. There it was, it's charging. So here it is charging. Um, here is the the room that I could use it in. And uh, let me just put my phone in my pocket here. I can give myself a little bit more slack. Fifty feet is a lot. Um, Fifty feet will get you possibly more than you bargained for. It depends on the size of your house as well. But here I am, comfortably in my bed again. And as you can see, let me get this power button doesn't seem to want to work, but there it is. It's charging. We're good. It's charging. And say, you know, I want to look out the window. I mean, just want to maybe lay in bed, listen to music on my phone. Or maybe I want to come in here and play some video games, or or maybe watch watch a movie, uh, uh, Broken Arrow. I could watch Broken Arrow, or I could just watch TV on here, uh, play some video games, or say say I have to do some chores, maybe. You know, just uh, maybe dust dust the living room here. You know, put on a record or. You know, just have a drink, you know, do some dishes, do some dishes maybe. All of this while my phone is charging. And, you know, I could, you know, watch, go in the garage, watch the car. Just go in the basement here. Maybe just, just do some laundry. Just do some laundry down here, or maybe clean up down here. Holy cow, I forgot how much stuff I had. Boxes and boxes and boxes. Well, there you go. And um, obviously, if you have a bigger house, you're going to want probably a longer cord. But my, I mean, my townhouse is kind of small. It's it's good for one person. 
Uh, so a 50 footer did well. I could I could uh, easily see. There you go. Phone is all charged up, ready to ready to enter the boot screen here. See that? There you go. That's probably a solid 10% charge. And uh, yeah, that's it. It's just as easy as that. Just get yourself a nice electrical extension cord, plug it into the centralized outlet, and you pretty much have free reign. Basically, you know, unlimited energy wherever you are in the house. You could charge anything, not just your phone.